I can run faster than you. Faster than anyone or anything. Oh, uh, really? Well, then I'd like to challenge you to a race. A race? Indeed. <laughs> what fun. Once upon a time, a tortoise and a hare decided on a race just for a dare. The hare was very sure he would win hands down, but the tortoise Archibald thought, That won't get me down. Hedwig the hare was speedy and Archibald was slow. He almost missed his cue when they said ready, set, go. Slow and steady wins the race. Be like Archibald. He wasn't very snappy, but always gave his all. The hare raced like a bullet at the speed of light. While the tortoise took his time, he had a goal in sight. Hedgewick knew he'd win, so he stopped to take a nap. As Archibald was nowhere close to catching up in laps. Slow and steady wins the race. Be like Archibald. He wasn't very snappy, but always gave his all. So the hare fell asleep under a shady tree And Archie heard him snore as he passed him on mile three When Archie crossed the finish line, everyone said Hooray! Hedgewig heard the noise Well, well, you don't say Slow and steady wins the race Be like Archie Ball He wasn't very snappy But always gave his all a gold medal for Archibald! He cheated! Hedgewig cried. He won fair and square with a slow and steady stride. Hedgewig now was sad he didn't win the race. But Archie tried to cheer him. Put on a happy face. It's just a silly contest, not worth a silly fight. Friendship's what's important. And with that, they made things right. Slow and steady wins the race. Be like Archie Ball. That sleepy tortoise finished first. And he didn't run, he crawled. Once upon a time there were three brown bears and they lived in the deep dark woods. One fine day as the porridge cooled, they walked around the neighborhood. The porridge was too hot! Down the path through the deep dark woods, a little girl skipped along. Goldilocks was the little girl's name and she didn't know right from wrong. Hello? Kitchen, she saw three bulls on the kitchen table. She grabbed a chair and climbed right up as fast as she was able. Yummy! Porridge! She took a taste from Papa's bowl. Yuck! It's much too hot! She took a taste from Mama's bowl. Yuck! It's much too cold! She took a taste from Baby's bowl. This one tastes just right. And she ate with a spoon, and very, very soon, she swallowed every bite. Look at those comfy rocking chairs. She sat down on Papa Bear's chair. This is much too hard. She sat down on Mama Bear's chair. This is much too soft. She sat down on Baby Bear's chair. This one feels just right. And she rocked and she rocked till the chair fell apart. She had quite a fright. Ouch! Ooh, look at those comfy beds. She laid down on Papa Bear's bed. This is much too hard. She laid down on Mama Bear's bed. This is much too soft. She laid down on Baby Bear's bed. This one feels just right. She pulled back the covers and snuggled in And then turned off the light Good night! Someone 
one's been eating from my bowl. Said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been eating from my bowl. Said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been eating from my bowl. And there's nothing left for me. A baby bear was very sad. As sad as sad can be. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair and broke it all apart. And Baby Bear began to cry with all his little heart. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Big Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Big Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. And she is still there. And Goldilocks woke up to see three fairy angry bears. Not so fast. Said Papa Bear. We'd better have a talk. I'm very, very sorry, said little Goldilocks. Goldilocks and Baby Bear became the best of friends. And that, my little Dewey, is how the story ends. Thanks, Mom! <laughs>
Off with you. I'll wait for Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Billy the Middle ran down to the river and onto the bridge. He hopped. Clippity cloppity, hippity hoppity. Up jumped the troll and he hollered out. Stop! Up jumped the troll and he hollered us up. Who are you? Said the troll. I'm Billy the Middle Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, please, Mr. Troll, I'm not very big, and you look very hungry. Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff is coming next, and he's much bigger and tastier than I am. Well, all right, then. Be off with you. I'll wait for Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. Billy the Biggie ran down to the river and onto the bridge he hopped. Clippity cloppity, hippity hoppity, up jumped the troll and he hollered out. Stop! Up jumped the troll and he hollered us up. Who are you? Said the troll. I'm Billy the Biggie Goat Gruff. Before I get thinner, I'll eat you for dinner. Would this be the end for this Billy Goat Gruff? Oh, yeah? Billy the Biggie, he lowered his horns and charged straight at the troll. And end over end over hill over glen and over the mountain that bad troll flew. Over the mountain that bad troll flew. And happily ever after lived upon that grassy bluff. Billy the Little. And Billy the Middle. And Billy the Biggie. The Billy Goat's Gruff. And Billy the Biggie, the Billy Goat's Gruff. <laughs> the Lion and the Mouse, the Lion and the Mouse. This is the story of the Lion and the Mouse. Mouse was creeping through the woods and woke a sleeping lion. Angrily, he grabbed that mouse. She was scared and crying. She said, If you let me go, I'll help you someday. Soon you'll see. When you need me, I'll be there. You'll count on me. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. Lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. You tiny thing, what can you do for me? Tell you what, you made me laugh, so I will set you free. Thank you! Next day, Lion stalked his prey, but on his way back home, he walked into a trap, he was captured and...
I was wrong to laugh because you're small. If it weren't for you, I would not be here at all. Huggy and Buggy to tidy their room before going out to play. <laughs> Those kids. Do you know where they are? I think I saw them in the backyard. I'll go find them, Jen. Wow, it's so cool to look at all the little insects. Yeah, the ants are my favorite. 
My favorite is the grasshopper. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. And I think this might be a good time to tell it to you. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. The grasshoppers do cartwheels. And all they do is play while the ants work all day. The ants go digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. The grasshoppers dance for fun. And all they do is play while the ants work all day. Hoppers don't have a crumb. All they did was play while the ants worked all day. Whoa! The grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! The grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! They never helped. They wished they had. And now they feel really bad. All they did was play while the ants. The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho, hi ho. The grasshoppers said with a grin, We'll never shirk our work again. And the ants all shout, Hooray! 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 <laughs>
way too hard. Mama Bear's bed, way too soft. Baby Bear's bed, just right, just right, just right. Goldilocks fell fast asleep. Three bears came back home. Soon as they stepped in, they knew they were not alone. Someone's been eating my porridge. Growled Papa. Someone's been eating my porridge. Said Mama. Someone's been eating my porridge. Cried Baby. And they ate it all up. Ate it all up. They walked into the living room, and what do you think they noticed? Someone's been sitting in my chair. Growled Papa. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Mama. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Cried Baby. And they broke in. Upstairs in their bedroom now. What do you think they noticed? Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Growled Papa. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Mama. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Cried Baby. And there she is. There she is. Goldilocks woke up and saw three brown bears staring at her. She screamed, Help! Jumped out of bed and ran away. With the clatter down the stairs and through the door, Goldie's gone forevermore. Our three bears they scratched their heads, fixed the chair, and made the beds, and sat down to eat their porridge. And that is the story of the three bears. Yeah. Huggy, did you just take Huggy's apple? No. Hey, my apple's gone. It wasn't me. Well, Buggy, what's that? Um. Hmm. I think it might be a good time to tell you a story, Buggy. There was a boy who watched the sheep, the silliest boy you ever did see. One sunny day. Who knows why? He thought for fun he'd tell a lie. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come! Hurry, hurry! Run, run, run! And up the hill a farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick! I played for fun! The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. At half past ten, the silly boy cried wolf. wolf again. And up the hill, the farmer came to chase that wolf away again. There was no wolf, not even one. It's just a trick. I played for fun. The farmer said, See here, young man, don't play that trick on me again. Okay, I promise. But that same day, at quarter past two, a big bad wolf came into view. Into the field, the wolf did creep to scare the boy and steal the sheep. The boy cried, Wolf, please, please come! Hurry, hurry! Run, run, run! Wolf, wolf, it's not a game! Please come now! But no one came. The silly boy, he shook with fright. That wolf stole every sheep in sight. The little boy was very sad because he knew that he'd been bad. He decided there and then, I'll never ever lie again. The most important thing to do is always, always tell, tell the, the truth. truth. <laughs> Okay, you two, snuggle in and close your eyes, and I'll read you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Yay! Little Red Riding Hood went out one day. Uh-huh, uh-huh. She was going to Granny's far away. Uh-huh, uh-huh. 
sheaf on a path through the deep dark woods to get to Granny's as quick as she could. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. A big bad wolf came into view. Uh huh. Uh huh. He raised his hat and said, How do you do? Uh huh. Uh huh. She said, My Granny is feeling ill. I'm bringing her cookies to make her well. Uh huh. She walked away, but the big bad wolf knew a faster way. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. The big bad wolf came to Granny's house. Uh huh, uh huh. And poor old Granny was all alone. Uh huh, uh huh. Granny, get in the cupboard. That bad wolf said. Then he put on her clothes and jumped in. Dear, come over here. But the little girl knew something was weird. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Granny, what great big ears you have! Uh huh. Uh huh. Granny, what great big eyes you have! Uh huh. Uh huh. Granny, what great big teeth you have! The wolf said, "Better to eat you with." Uh huh. He never came back. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. We're safe now, Granny. The little girl said. Uh huh. Uh huh. And she helped Granny get back in bed. Uh huh. Uh huh. They ate the cookies happily, and that's the end of our story. Uh huh.
Red Riding Hood arrived at Grandma's house. She opened the door and walked right up to her grandma's bed. Grandma, I am here, poor thing in bed. I brought you some yummy bread. Thank you, dear. I'm feeling sick. Come a little closer. Take a look. Riding Hood. Thankfully, a lumberjack was passing by and heard her cry. He broke down the door and came inside. What's going on? Are you okay? I heard you scream from far away. Hey, big bad wolf, get out of here. And don't you come back. It's okay, dear. Thank you, thank you. Oh! 
she opened them, she was by the riverside. She shook her head, looked at the stream. I just had the strangest dream. Was that all just a dream? The story of the lion and the mouse. Yeah!
to go get some honey to put on their porridge. So off they went into the woods. Right across the woods lived a little girl with golden hair and lots of curls. Everybody called her Goldilocks. Off she goes. Goldilocks know she had just entered the house of the three bears. Wow, look over there, a table of food. Great, cause I am in the mood for a big bowl of porridge just for me. Hey, there's one! Wait, there's two! No, look, there's three! Papa Bear's porridge! Goldilocks had eaten her fill of porridge, she was feeling full and wanted to rest her feet. Papa Bear's chair looked much too hard. Mama Bear's chair looked much too soft. Baby Bear's chair was the final one. Mm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. But Goldie was too heavy for Baby Bear's chair, and so it broke! Oops! Now she was feeling really sleepy, so decided to go upstairs to lay down her golden head. Papa Bear's bed looked much too hard. Mama Bear's bed looked much too soft. Baby Bear's returned home to discover they were not alone. Someone's been eating Papa Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating Mama Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating babies too. Hmm, let's see. Oh, dearie me. They ate it.
story time, little twins? Yay! How about Jack and the Beanstalk? Ha ha ha! 
Mark. Didn't you ever hear the story about the boy who cried wolf? No? Tell me! The boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf, the boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf. There was a boy who watched the sheep. He'd watch him walk and watch him sleep. He was so bored he made a plan. I need to find some action, man. Well done for telling the truth, Mark. <laughs> 